This is Netrunner 18.03, Edolin, which means a mental image or an idealized image, and it's based on Debian testing with the KDE Plasma 5.12 desktop. Now, I've done a lot of videos on the 5.12 desktop, and so have others, so I'm not going to go into that in great detail, except to say, as in previous versions of Netrunner, which is sponsored by Blue Systems, this is tweaked a little differently than the standard vanilla KDE Plasma desktop. This is the way it comes by default, and the menu is the application dashboard. Now I'm going to change that by going to Alternatives, and it has the dashboard, the application launcher, which is the traditional one, the application menu, which I normally prefer. And it also has the simple menu, which is not present in many versions of the Plasma desktop. So I'm going to select that one and switch. So this is the simple menu. I'm not going to go over everything. I just want to mention a few things. Under games, it comes with Steam already installed. You have to have an account to use it. it comes with GIMP already installed. And that's version 2.8. It comes with Firefox 58 and with Thunderbird. Now, Firefox 58 is normally not available in Debian but it's available here. Under Multimedia, it came with the Caden Live version 17.12 and with the Voco screen, which is a screen recorder, but I installed Simple Screen Recorder. Under Office, it has a complete LibreOffice suite, and that's version 6.02.1, the latest or nearly latest version that I'm aware of. Under Settings, it has the Grub Customizer, and it has System Settings, which is similar to the standard Plasma System Settings, but it's been tweaked a little bit differently, and I'll show you a little about that. And under System, along with the normal things, it also has VirtualBox installed by default, and it has Discover, which is the graphical package manager, the equivalent of GNOME software, and the Discover has been evolving through several versions of Plasma 5, and this one seems to be working quite well, which I couldn't always say in the past. And under Utilities, along with the Arc and Kate and Ocular and those things, it comes with SUSE Studio Image Writer. It also borrows from other distributions, for instance, the Update Manager is Mint Update. Now my system is up to date right now, but as you can see, this is Mint Update. I installed a couple of things I installed Simple Screen Recorder, as I said, and I installed the Synaptic Package Manager. As with my recent review of Chaos, I installed this on an external hard drive in Legacy BIOS mode, and the Calamaris installer does not have any provision for not using a partition. So Netrunner, as with Chaos, latched on to the Linux swap partition on my internal drive, and I thought that that would make this installation non-portable. That is, I couldn't use this external drive with another computer because that swap partition wouldn't be present. However, that proved not to be the case. The way the devices appeared in FSTAB, I was able to use this on another computer even though one device was missing. Now I've already tweaked this a little bit. I've got my desktop grid and my screen edge activated. But let me just take a quick look at the system settings. 
There's a slight difference here from the normal KDE Plasma system settings. Netrunner has grouped a number of items under Plasma Tweaks. So if you click on that, you see Look and Feel, Desktop Theme, Desktop Effects, Widget Style, Window Decoration, Splash Screen, Cursor Theme, Colors, Icons, GNOME Application Style, all under Plasma Tweak. If you look under Display, you'll see that there's a compositor enabled, and it's enabled on Startup. The animation speed is about a third of the way from instant to very slow. So the way it is now, I can minimize this window. I could maximize it. It goes pretty fast. If I go over here to very slow, I minimize it. It's hard to see the difference, but there is a slight difference. If I go back to instant, it's much faster. I'm going to leave it on instant. Now, under desktop effects, I've been through this before. I'm just going to click everything off except desktop grid and present windows. If I go to K Sysguard, with Simple Screen Recorder running, I'm only using 0.79 gigabytes of 3.7 gigabytes. and zero swap. I'm using about 47% of my CPU. It was down around 3 or 4% without simple screen recorder running. I just want to take a quick look at Discover because it's working much better than it used to work. I'll click on Applications. The response is almost instantaneous now. I'm going to search for things I normally search for, such as Muse Score. Press enter. There it is. I can click on it to get more information, and it's version 2.1. I'll clear that, and I'll search for LibreCAD, L-I-B-R-E-C-A-D. Press enter. Click on that. And that's version 2.1.2. I should mention also that this and every other Debian-based system I have tried work with all of my printers and all of my scanners. I've changed the desktop only slightly if I right-click on the desktop and click on Configure Desktop. It came with the folder view and I changed it to desktop view. So there were these three little icons up here, My Computer, Network, and README. One thing I want to mention, if you're using the live system on a USB drive, do not click on README unless you're connected to the internet in some way. I made the mistake of doing that, and the system locked up, and I had to restart it, but if you're connected to the internet, you can click on README. And my computer is just the system information. This is KDE Plasma version 5.12, and it's running kernel version 4.14. Not quite the latest, but close. There's no little toolbox up here 
It's disabled by default. As I've mentioned many times, you don't need the toolbox. You can get that by right-clicking on the desktop. And under Tweaks, where it says Show the Desktop Toolbox, that's already unchecked, which is the way I prefer it. So I'll go back to desktop view. As you probably noticed by now, there aren't a lot of options for wallpapers. I like the one it comes with. I have no particular desire to change it. But if you wanted more wallpapers, you could get them down here under Get New Wallpapers, or you could simply go to Google Images or your photo collection or anywhere else for images. So with the base of Debian testing and the additional enhancements provided by Netrunner, this system meets my principal criterion of being usable for production, and its refined appearance makes it that much easier to use. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.